Concerned community members face off with Kenosha's mayor and faith leaders following a news conference aimed to moving the city forward. Rebecca Clough explains why people are so upset with the plans. Kenosha's mayor laid out a plan on how the community can move forward following the shooting of Jacob Blake and the protests that destroyed parts of the city. Some community members, though, showed up outside the news conference concerned they were being left out of the process. Our message is simple. It's all about healing. And we're here to unify and heal the inequalities that is in our community. Faith leaders and the mayor talked about how Kenosha will change as a city following the shooting of Jacob Blake and the protests that followed. We need to make sure that as time goes on, we correct the problems that we need to deal with. That includes talking about racism, criminal justice, police and community relations and education. The mayor says he invited in the Department of Justice along with faith leaders to host listening sessions and create an action roadmap that will be the city's plan moving forward. But as he addressed this plan, community members gathered outside, concerned why they weren't already involved in the process. We don't know some of the ministers who haven't reached outside beyond their church. Some of them have. You're going to get a crowd like this showing up saying we're the people of Kenosha and we don't who's standing and speaking for us. And in this case, literally what we were doing today, we're basically laying out how we're going to move forward. We don't have a problem doing that. The mayor says no committees have been formed and the listening sessions are open to the public. We have a link on how you can register for one on our website, tmj4.com. Reporting in Kenosha, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News.